So I reached over 200 subscribers. <laughs> Honestly, like I started this whole YouTube thing only thinking that like two people were gonna watch it, like two of my friends or family or whatever. Um, I honestly didn't think anybody, let alone like 200 plus people would be watching me. So thank you guys so much for subscribing and stuff. Um, it really means a lot to me just because like I said, I didn't expect this thing to really go anywhere at all. Um, I know 200 is like very small compared to like a lot of YouTubers and stuff, especially like now in these days because like there's like a million makeup gurus or whatever, but I'm really appreciative, thank you. Like it, it's a lot to me at least. So I'm very humbled and just thank you guys so much. I'm just gonna be doing like a little collective haul. Um, I've done a little bit of damage the past couple weeks since I've been gone. Um, and again, sorry guys um, that I haven't uploaded in the past couple weeks just because it's been a crazy, insanely busy um, wedding season, especially in the past couple weeks. Um, I'm literally every weekend at a wedding job for a trial run or something. Um, it's If I'm not at Sephora, I'm out on location doing hair and makeup for clients, stuff like that. So yeah, today's my actual like first day off where I'm like, I don't have a trial run, I'm not working, I'm not doing a wedding or anything. So I thought I'd just film what I've hauled the past couple weeks and it's kind of bad. I It's just been kind of like a treat yourself kind of months just because of how much work I've been putting out so I think I, I think I deserve a little a little shopping spree um, but yeah let's just start off with um, what I picked up at the drugstore um, I ran to the drugstore just because I mean you go to the drugstore for like little things that you need around the house like if you need like foil or like food or whatever or shampoo or whatever um, and of course uh, you always have to make your way down the makeup aisle um, I did need to pick up some lashes for my clients though um, and I'm nearly out of them already so I picked up um, one of these guys which is the um, Salon Perfect uh, Demi Wispies um, yeah as you can see I have one pair left I used the three um, some clients already and then I also picked up the um, Ardell natural lashes in the pack as well and I believe I have one pair in those guys too so I need to go back to the store and pick some more up for uh, the what the couple of weddings that are coming up this next couple weekends but yeah so I bought these guys they're just a really good deal because you get like four or five four um, for $9.99 or $8.99 depending or whatever wherever drugstore you go to so I mean, considering a pair of lashes are about four bucks alone, you might as well just buy them in the pack. So, yeah, so I bought one of these guys, or two of these guys, I guess. Uh, kind of pretty much all I buy at the drugstore is just lashes. Um, so, I picked up these lashes for myself. Um, they're the Kiss brand, and they're, they're Look So Natural line. So, are these three guys. So, I got Shy, which are these nice, like, natural lashes that have like a little bit of a flare at the edges. Um, Vamp, which is a little bit more of like a lengthening lash. And then Posh, which is really dramatic volume and stuff like that. And then another thing I picked up from the drugstore is um, just a new duo lash glue. Um, this is the one I personally like just because um, the, it comes with the little one and also this one specifically is um, latex free. So it's really good to work on clients in case anyone has a latex allergy um yeah i needed to pick up a new one like asap just because the one that i had was looking a little a little disgusting um these guys are awesome just because like i said like they come with um like the little brush and you kind of just like brush it onto the lash band um the only thing with these guys is um the formula is really really super thin i don't know if you can you can see it in the bottle yeah, so it's like super, super thin. Um, so it gets really messy really, really easy, especially if you're on set or on location doing like hair and makeup somewhere and you're just like putting it on, going and like not really like being super careful with it. Um, I'll show you my old one just for reference. Um, I mean, I still have a lot of product in my old one too, but it's just so disgusting that I'm kind of embarrassed to take it with me like on jobs and stuff. 
I really want to try out the House of Lashes glue just because everyone raves about it and say that it's like amazing. Um, also, Manny MUA suggested trying the Revlon lash glue, which is supposed to be like the House of Lashes glue. So we'll see. Maybe after I finish up this bottle, I'll branch out and try something new. But yeah. Um, I also did a couple online purchases, so we'll start off with those before um, I get on to the actual purchases I went in store for. Um, I placed an order online for Macy's and they were having like this huge beauty sale. Um, I believe about two weeks ago um, and I ended up picking up the um, Anastasia cream contour kit. Um, I'm honestly not a cream contour type of girl just because I feel like you have to set it with a powder anyway and I feel like I could get a pretty dramatic contour without the use of a cream and I can just use them with my powder products anyway. Um, so I've never really been into cream contouring um, but when I saw that this was on sale, it was also for $25. Um, I kind of just had to. I mean, when are you going to get a really good quality cream contour kit for $25? I mean, come on. So yeah. So I picked this guy up in medium. Um, I haven't like touched it or anything yet either, so I'm waiting to get into it. Um, but yeah. And it has like this really like bright orange shade. Um, I'm probably going to use that as a corrector, which I think it's what it's for. Um, I've heard people use it as like cream blush as well, so I might try that out and see. See how I like it. Another thing I picked up online was I made an order on Mac.com just because I wanted um, a Mac palette um, and I wanted the inserts so I can melt my um, lipsticks and so I can put them in my kit as well. Uh, so I ended up getting this guy right here. This is kind of my baby right now. It's the double sided um, Mac palette, so you kind of just open it up and it has a little divider in the middle. And then pretty much you buy your inserts and then you just pop them in and then you use whatever you want in them. Um, I chose the 24 pan inserts, um, that way I can mix or melt um, a ton of lipsticks in. Um, but yeah, so there's this for you. And the divider definitely helps with you, as you can already see that like it already got a little dirty. Um, but yeah, so I have like all my nudes and like my pinky nudes and neutrals right here and then it starts getting into the more um, crazy, bright, vampy, colored shades and stuff so yeah I actually might pick up another one and make more of like a fun lip palette like so I'm just more like weird colors like blacks and blues and purples and stuff like that so we'll, we'll see but I'm currently loving this um, just so you guys know that the majority of my lip products in this palette are the wet and wild matte lipsticks just because they are phenomenal like they have like such amazing color payoff such amazing wear to them I feel like it's just it's just worth it to put it in a palette and also I don't feel as bad cutting up and mashing up the product. Um, I kind of have a weird thing about keeping my lipsticks intact and making them look as nice as possible so I don't know. So yeah, so I don't feel as bad doing that to wet and wild lipsticks but yeah, I do have a couple um, like Marc Jacobs and Urban Decay lipsticks in here as well and I believe I have some light lipsticks in here too but the majority is um, the wet and wild wet and wild matte lipsticks so yeah so this is going in my kit um it's just a lot more convenient for me just so i can just take this alone um i used to just take a bunch of lipsticks and like bundle them together with the rubber band and just throw them in my kit and stuff and that was just a pain in the butt so i'm loving this right now the last online order i did was actually an order from gerard cosmetics um if you guys have been living under a rock not been on social media or anything and don't know what this product is, which I'm sure the majority of you guys do. It's what's on my lips right now and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, it is the Hydramat Liquid Lipstick in uh, Serenity, which is the one that Manny MUA helped create and I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, it's such a beautiful, beautiful pinky nude. Ooh, where, what is going on? Pinky, 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 pinky. Okay, I just fixed my blinds real quick, but yeah. Um, as I was saying, it's such a beautiful pinky nude that like I honestly feel like this is the color that would like look really good on a lot of people's skin tones. Um, the formula is amazing too. Um, it's called Hydra Matte for a reason. I mean like it's a nice matte liquid lipstick, but it's not gonna like suck the life out of you. Like you still have a little bit of moisture in it and you can still feel the moisture, but it's still a liquid lipstick that stays on all day and it smells amazing. It smells like 
vanilla cupcakes or vanilla frosting and stuff. It's so good. I absolutely love it. Can we just say, it's named Serenity. I mean, come on. It's inspired by Sailor Moon. He even said that himself. If you guys don't know the story behind um, Serenity and why he chose the name and stuff like that, go watch his video and he'll explain it. But yeah, it's named Serenity after Sailor Moon. And I mean, if uh, can you see? Can you see what's going on in my arm right now? Like, I'm obsessed with Sailor Moon. I absolutely love Sailor Moon. Honestly, if Manny didn't make this product, and it was already called Serenity, I probably would have still picked it up because it's called Serenity just because it relates to Sailor Moon and I'm absolutely, absolutely obsessed. So I ended up going into Ulta um, last weekend actually because I finished up with a bridal party last weekend and the location happened to be right near an Ulta so I just happened to stumble in there and bought some stuff. Uh, a couple of things that I got from Ulta are uh, the NYX lip liners. I got one in mauve, uh, peekaboo neutral, nude beige, and natural. I've had natural and mauve before. Um, I want to try out peekaboo neutral because I feel like somebody on YouTube recommended it and said that was amazing and I had to try it but I can't remember who for the life of me. Um, and then also Nude Beige, uh, I've heard on blogs saying that it was a dupe for um, Max Stone. It's probably one of my favorite lip liners just because you get a lot of products and they're amazing quality and they're like half the price of MAC lip liners. Um, granted you do get a little bit more product in MAC lip liners but these are awesome. And then the last thing I got at Ulta is the... Okay guys, I caved. I bought into the hype. Um, I bought the Laura Gala Baked Gelato uh, Squirrel Illuminator in Gilded Honey. <sighs> Everybody and their moms have been talking about this guy, um, saying it's a deep for Max Extra Dimension uh, highlighter in Whisper of Guilt. Um, I don't have that one like personally, but I do have the um, uh, I do have the extra dimension highlighter in superb. So it's about the same formula. Um, this one's just a little bit more of like a bronzy champagne color than Whisper Guilt. But yeah, so big gelato swirl. Um, it's honestly it's a beautiful highlight. Like I absolutely love with it. Like I honestly wasn't going to buy it, but then I was at Ulta with my friend Susie. Um, and she pretty much told me I needed to have it and that I would not be living if I didn't have this in my life. So it's beautiful. I love it. I love the texture of it. Um, but yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of the packaging because it's like such a small amount of product and also like this bubble thing. I feel like this just takes up space. Um, I feel like if the packaging is a little more sleek, it would be nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to compare it again to my Extra Dimension Skin Finish, like, yeah. It's definitely worth it. It's $29, I believe. So, yeah, if you guys want a nice, like, pretty, like, highlighter, this is another one for you. Um, my girl can never have too many highlighters, so... The next store I went to is a store called Pretty and Cute. Um, I don't know if they have it in other locations, but in my city, we have a freestanding store. Um, I know you can get their stuff online at prettyandcute.com, and what it is, it's pretty much a Korean-Japanese um, makeup, beauty product, skincare store. So they'll have anywhere from like Lee Welly, Skin79, uh, Tony Moly, Gatsby, whatever. Um, so yeah, so if you want like any Asian beauty like finds, definitely go check out uh, prettyandcute.com. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like the one in my town is the only store. But yeah, the super cute store. Like, I mean, the bag is adorable. It's pink and striped. It says pretty and cute and this little nice emblem. Um, they always stuff it with like really cute tissue paper and stuff like that. The whole entire store is pink, so it's like a girl's makeup heaven. I am picking up some of these uh, sheet masks. Um, these are the Skin79 sheet masks and they're the animal masks. So they are your standard sheet masks but they have animal prints on them so they look like animal faces when you wear them. Um, but yeah, the panda one says it is whitening care for the dark panda. 
and then the monkey one says intensive moisturizer for dry monkey so I'm assuming intensive moisture mask brightening mask so I'm excited to try these guys out um, another thing I picked up from pretty and cute were these sets of lashes um, I've kind of been on a lash kick lately so yeah so I bought these lashes these are for myself I'm probably gonna pick up more for my clients just because it's a really really good deal so you get eight lashes for I believe $12.99 um, and this pack specifically you get like a bunch of different styles of lashes here and you even get like a pair of bottom lashes so I personally love these um, they're really nice um, they give you more of like a dramatic lash look rather than like something like nice and wispy and natural but yeah so these are awesome especially like it's a really really good deal too that was um, the Leo Ali Care Me hand cream and this guy is in the blueberry scent and it reminds me a lot of the Lost Tone hand creams that we sell at Sephora. Um, they're really nice and moisturizing, even the packaging is really, really similar. Um, just a really good hand cream to throw in my purse. Then I ended up picking up the uh, Leo Ali Hydro Peel Therapy Skin. Um, this guy's pretty much a toner. Um, it said that you can put it on a cotton pad or just directly through your hands and massage it into the skin. The texture's really weird because usually with toners you feel like it's super super liquidy and you kind of just pour it onto your cotton pad. This one is a pump and the texture is really similar to like hand sanitizer where it's like kind of that jelly texture but then it's like super liquidy at the same time. So yeah, so there's this guy for you. Um, I'll read to you guys what it says on the container. Um, so Leo Ali Hydro Peel Therapy Skin. This intensive moisturizing skin toner with silky and moist filling includes deep sea, which contains various minerals that make transparency skin with moisture and elasticity. Also, algae extracts help uh, turnover of your skin, and by including organic moisturizing ingredients, this product gives you smooth and elasticity to the skin. Um, obviously, the grammar on the packaging isn't the best, but I mean, it is Korean. Asian brand, whatever. And then the last thing I bought from uh, Pretty and Cute was the Leo Ali Hydro Therapy Mist. Um, pretty much just a facial spray. Um, I ran out of my MAC Fix Plus and then I just wasn't able to pick one up, so then I decided why not just try this guy out. Um, super cute pink packaging, whatnot. Um, but yeah, so pretty much you can use this with your skincare or you can use it on top of your makeup so i've been doing both um i spray it over top of my makeup as like a nice refresher it acts like fix plus as well because it has glycerin in it so it helps just kind of take the powderiness away from your skin just make you look all nice and dewy and just fresh um also if you were to use it with your skincare which is what i've been doing as well i would do it either before or after my moisturizer um just depending on how I'm feeling. So that's pretty much everything from um, Pretty and Cute. Um, so the next place that I ended up going to was uh, with Mac. Um, so I usually never even go to the Mac store just because I never really, I don't know, I actually don't know why. But I had a wedding job that was down the street and then so I just thought, why not stop by Mac? So yeah. So I ended up picking just a couple of things from Mac. Um, I ended up getting um, two of the lipsticks from the MAC collection and then a lip pencil. The lip pencil I bought was um, MAC Stone, like I said, um, with the NYX Nude Beige Liner. Um, people say that this was a dupe for MAC Stone, so I ended up getting MAC Stone anyway, so we'll, I'll just do like a little swatch for you. Um, so that is the Beast Stone right there. And then let's take nude beige next to it. It's similar as far as like tone goes, but it's still like a really like cool tone like nude beige. But obviously Max Stone is a lot more gray and it's a lot deeper. So not necessarily the best dupe, but you're still getting like the same tone. So I mean I'm I'm so glad I have both. So and then with the two lipsticks that I bought, I ended up getting uh, Whirl and Stone. Um, Whirl because, I mean, it's the whole like Kylie Jenner lip color thing that I was going for. And it's a little bit more um, like rusty as far as shade goes. It's more of like a rusty mauve nude instead of like the purpley mauve nudes. Um, so this is a really great color. I'm really excited that I have this. Um, and then obviously I had to get the Stone lipstick because I got the Stone liner. Um, Stone is, again, your more like grayish, um, gray beige, cool tone lip color. 
really, really trendy, really, really in right now. So I'm really excited to try this guy out. It's gonna look beautiful in the fall. So really excited. Um, so that was pretty much my haul from the back. So of course the last place that I ended up picking stuff up from is so Sephora came out with actually like a lot of really, really new, um, really exciting products and I'm really excited about them. Um, first off, uh, if you guys didn't know, um, Obsessive Compulsive isn't going to be sold at Sephora anymore. I don't know where they're going to be selling as far as like retailers wise, but you are still able to get them online at ObsessiveCompulsive.com. But again, it's not going to be sold at Sephora anymore. So. Um, all OTC products that Sephora right now are on sale 50% off. Um, and I picked up a couple. Um, I didn't get them at my store just because we are ridiculously low on stock of the OTC lip tech in general and we didn't really have any really that interest me at all and they were all like the stain glosses which just not really a fan of. Um, but yeah, so I ended up just picking these guys up from um, the Sephora inside JCPenney. Um, I don't get my employee discount there, but I mean, it's 50% off, so I'm not complaining at all. So I got four of these guys. I end up getting Strumpet, um, Manhunter, Lydia, and Hoochie. First couple things I bought are the new Cat uh, Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks and the new shades. I got Witches and Echo. Um, Witches is that, uh, nice like navy blue type shade and then which is is the nice black one i've always really wanted a really nice matte black liquid lipstick i was really contemplating on placing an order for jeffree star and getting weirdo but I'm not really an online shopper i like to be able to feel things and try them out before i buy them so and plus i get my employee discount so i mean yeah so i got these two i really want to pick up bow and arrow but we sold out of that guy um I worked the Rouge event and the morning of we had bow and arrow and I was an idiot and forgot to put it on hold so by the time my shift was over we had no more so I gotta wait on that guy now. So picked up um, the Anastasia Lash Genius. It's a waterproofing top coat so we're gonna just put it over top any mascara you currently own and then it will make it waterproof. Um, this is mainly for my kit just because I get so many mascaras and I have so many mascaras um, from gratis and I never wear them just because I need waterproof mascara for myself. So with all the mascaras that I end up accumulating from gratis, I just put them in my kit just because I have absolutely no use for them unless it's a mascara I really really like and I like to layer on top of my mascara but yeah. so. The Lash Genius, is, it just made sense for me to get just because um, that way I don't have to buy like several different waterproofing or waterproof mascaras um, and I can just use the mascaras I have already and just put this on top and make them waterproof for my clients for the wedding so they can cry however much they want or have the wedding in the rain or whatever so this was mainly for my kit and it actually works really well too so I'm really really excited that I purchased this. Um, I didn't see it anymore on Anastasia.com so I don't know if they're phasing it out. Um, if anybody knows that, please let me know because if they are, I'm stocking up on these because we still have a couple at my store. I also ended up getting the Anastasia Shadow Couture palette, which is actually what I have on my eyes right now. I have um, pink champagne on the lid, which is that like nice shimmery shade, um, Morocco in the crease, and then fudge on the outer corner. Um, I'm loving this. Dufour also just launched um, their new uh, Lux Fall Slash collection. Um, so these guys are beautiful. They're, I believe they're mink or mink-like, um, but they're so, so beautiful. They're such a natural, like high quality lash. Um, they're really nice and fluttery. These ones specifically are the ones in Quill. Um, I know they have a more natural pair and a more dramatic pair. This one's like right in the middle. So it has a nice like flare at the edge that like, gives you that little more like elongated like feeling like finish. Um, but they're, like I said, they're beautiful. They're really, really like well made and they come in an acrylic box, which is amazing. So there's that for you. And they're still really, really affordable too. So if you want something like, like velour lashes, but you don't want to spend the money for velour lashes, I think these will be a good like comparable choice. Sephora came out with their limited edition 55 brush. The 55 brush has been around for a while. It's the Pro Air brush, um, but then they just came out with the new packaging for it for a limited time. And it's 
this guy. So nice, beautiful floral design on the handle and then a really nice pretty gold ferrule. Um, the 55 brush is a really nice brush in general for like powder products, even um, liquid products. Like I love using this for um, my Dior Air Flash just because it gives a really nice like light buff to the skin without it being like a super dense kabuki brush that's gonna like skip the product and just make it a little bit difficult for you. This is just a nice like all over brush so and honestly if they made more of the brushes in this packaging I would buy them all. So I'm hoping they do. The last thing I ended up getting was um, just a little freebie. Um, so if you guys don't know if you're a Sephora Beauty Insider you get a free birthday gift the month of your birthday and I was able to pick mine up this month. Um, it was funny because when my manager was checking me out, he rang up all my stuff and then was just like, birthday gift? And I was like, what? Because <laughs> I totally forgot it was my birthday month just because I can't believe it's August already. Like more than half the year has gone by already and I just, I just can't believe it. And also I've been so busy with like weddings and other events for like other people that I just totally forgot about my birthday. So it was, it was a really nice surprise. So I ended up getting this birthday gift. And this year it's the NARS um, velvet lip pencils, the matte velvet and the satin pencil. So the satin's really nice too. The matte velvet's amazing. It's probably one of my favorite formulas, but the satin's a nice like creamy, glossy-ish, high pigmented color. And then also if you're rouge, you get the um, Wonder and Life uh, black eye pencil, which is my favorite by far. Like I like it better than or make a 24-7 pencil. I like it better than the Marc Jacobs highlighters. Um, these, the NARS is probably like my favorite just because I feel like it stays on all freaking day. Thank you guys so much for watching my haul. Um, if you want to see some more videos, feel free to subscribe and like the video. And yeah, thanks for watching.